everybody. What's up? This is Say2 from say 2 whatcom and PassiveLiving.info. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Google Voice. All right. Now, first of all, um, Google Voice is associated with Gmail. So in order to have Google Voice, you must have a Gmail account. All right. If you don't have a Gmail account, then you have to create a Gmail account account if you don't know what, what a gmail is <laughs> a gmail is an email such as yahoo or live or hotmail okay so create you a gmail account now after you create your gmail account you will want to go to google.com slash voice all right and it's google.com slash voice and um once you once you go there it's going to tell you that Google Voice is only available in the United States all right and then it's also going to tell you that you will be required to verify an existing US phone number to get a Google Voice number all right so after that you're going to accept the terms and policy and you're going to proceed after that you're going to set up your Google Voice number. It's going to tell you to choose a brand new number from Google or either use your existing cell phone number to get the full set of Google Voice features, such as one number that rings all your phones, an online voicemail with transcriptions that will be sent to you to your email or text, and a custom greeting and call blocking and so much more all right now there's going to be a green button and it's going to be a red button the green button is going to tell is is going to say I want a new number the red button is going to say I want to use my mobile number now from my personal experience I will highly encourage you to uh, press the one that says I want a new number especially if you are a, a entrepreneur if you are a business person is just professional to keep your your um, personal number and your business number separate okay so you're going to press the green button I want a new number now it's going to say add a forwarding phone before choosing a Google voice number you're going to add a forwarding phone that will ring when that number is called. You can add more forwarding phones later. All right, so you're going to enter the phone number and then you're um, going to enter the phone type. It could be a home, work, or mobile, okay? Now, I would highly, highly encourage you to choose work if it's your um, work number or if it's a cell phone, you, you can just use cell um, um mobile so choose work or mobile press continue now step four you're I'm going to have to verify your phone all right now this is going to read verify phone now if you have never used your number for Google voice before all right or it will read reclaim a verify phone only if you have used the same phone for another Google voice account all right now, I had to reclaim my verified phone number because um, <clears throat> I had used my cell phone number for another Google Plus account. All right. So if you are new to this, then it's going to have the first one. All right. Now, after that, it's going to say you are attempting to use a phone number that is already in use on an on another Google Voice account. Before you can do this, we, we need to verify that you have access to this phone. Now, even if you never used the same phone number before, you can still do that. It's still going to call your phone or text you, all right? And it's going to have a big fat number in the middle of the screen, and you're gonna to have to click on where it says, call me now. And then once you call, Google Voice is, um, is going to tell you the access code, all right? And then you're, um, going to do that um 
Okay, so what you're going to do now is step five is you're going to choose a number. And it says when anyone calls this number, it will ring all of your phones. Now, it's going to either give you a choice to choose a certain zip code that you want Google to give you a certain number. So let's say, for instance, you are in, in Atlanta, Georgia, and you chose the zip code 30083. All right. When you choose the zip code 830083, Google is going to give you a list of numbers that is associated with that particular zip code. All right. That's how it's going to work. Then after you have done that, it's going to say you have successfully set up Google Voice. And it's, um, and it's going to give you a reminder of your number, of your, of your Google Voice number. And click finish and that's it all right now I hope this was helpful I hope this was very 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 helpful now um, also 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 there's this right here is a bonus this is a bonus now after you're finished setting up your Google voice when people call your phone Google is going to say, we are trying to connect you. Please state your name so that we can connect you to your call. When you are a business person, that is not professional whatsoever. You do not want that to happen. What you want is that when people call you, they are automatically um, transferred to you. Okay, so the phone is going to ring and Google does not have to tell that person to say their name so that you can pick it up you don't want that you want them to think it's a real phone that this is a actual business phone all right so the best way to go about that is to create a google voicemail all right google voicemail just like you have a voicemail on your cell phone or a voicemail on your landline phone you can create a voicemail on google voice all right so what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings all right settings inside of there is the little squiggly circle thing on the right hand side of the screen all right if you're going to click down it's going to have a drop down menu and you're going to i'm sorry it's going to be on the right hand side of the screen and you'll see the word settings all right then after that um you're going to check on where it says forward calls to google chat and you're going to keep that check and you're also going to check where it says mobile all right now do not click on the option that says activate google voice on this number do not do that do not check that do not click on that okay now number nine is you're going to where it says click on um voicemail and text so you're going to click on voicemail and text all right now, to where it says voicemail and text, you're, you're going to click on where it says record new greeting. It says voicemail greeting. So, you're going to click on record new greeting. Okay? Now, once you record your greeting, you can play it to see how it sounds. All right? And then... It's going to also say uh, if if you want your voicemail email to you, you can check the uh, box that says email the message to so so and so at gmail.com and maybe John Doe at gmail.com or something like that. Okay. Um, you can also get your voicemails transcribed. So whoever leaves a voicemail, um, if you don't pick it up and they leave a voicemail, Google is going to transcribe the message to you. All right. Um, they also got text. If someone texts you, you can also text them via your email. Okay. So that's very, very good. That's very good. Now on number 10 is you're going to go down and um, it's going to say call screening. Call screening. Make sure that you have this box check that says directly connects call with when phones are answered you want that checked 
you want the word where it says off directly connects call when phones are answered that means that google voice is not going to ask that person to say their name before you pick up their phone that's very important that's very very important all right now when when somebody is calling you from your um calling your um, google voice number is it's automatically going to be set up as though your um their phone number is going to show up you don't want that you don't want that because let's say that you're using your, your um, google voice on your personal cell phone number if you do that you're not going to know who is calling you you might be receiving a phone call from a really important prospect and you're going to say something like hey what's up and you're not going to know that that person is someone that, that is interested in your business so the only way to know that you are receiving an incoming call from your Google Voice number is simply by checking the box that says display my Google Voice number. And what that means is every time somebody is calling your Google Voice number, your number is going to pop up on your phone. That's how you know that somebody is calling you that is interested in your business. That's very important. Very, very important. All right, so under caller ID incoming, you are going to choose the um, circle box that says display my Google voice number. Okay, and you don't change nothing there. Um, where it says missed calls at the bottom, yeah, I'm going to check the box that says enable recording, switch, and conferencing options on inbound calls. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your Gmail account. Go back to your Gmail account and you're going to look on the left hand side of your Gmail account and you're going to see a, a picture of a phone, okay? It's under where it says compose. You'll see inbox, start, important, sent mail, draft, and more. And then underneath of that, you'll see a phone, okay? Now you're going to click on that phone. If you do not have the Google Voice app, you have to download the app to your computer in order for it to work. If you want to call people on your Google, um, on your Gmail, if you want to call people on, on your computer, if you want to call people inside of your Gmail, you have to download that app. You have to download the app, okay? Now, when you call people through your Google Voice inside of your Gmail account, your Gmail number is going to show up, okay? Anyways, um, I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, please don't be afraid to ask me. Um, apart from me doing this, I am a stay-at-home mom. I work from home. I work with a company called Motor Club of America. And it's exactly like Triple A, except they have unlimited benefits such as unlimited real estate assistance, pop a lock, field delivery, five hundred dollars travel reimbursements for hotels and meals, one thousand dollars in credit card protection, fifty four thousand dollars in in daily hospital benefits, RV real estate assistance, book trailer, um, bill bonds, two two thousand dollars to defend. $1,000 to protect, um, and a whole lot more for, for just $19.95, all right? Now, if you want to become an agent like me, you can join me, and you can pay for your membership for two months. $39.95 is going to cover for the two months membership, because $19.95 in $19.95 for two months, all right? Now, you're going to earn $80 per referral. $80 per referral if you refer someone to Mother Club of America. If you join my team, I'm going to help you succeed. We're going to get it together. Just go to PassiveLiving.info. Watch the quick video. Enter your information below. Confirm your subscription. And you should see all the information that you need to know to sign up and start up. Okay? Anyway, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I appreciate you for listening and i hope this was extremely extremely helpful to 